Hello everyone. So today I decided I wanted to share with you my favorite YouTube gear. So I have been a content creator since 2009, believe it or not. I have been on YouTube since then. Um, it was originally on another channel and then a few years later I created this one and since I've been building this and it's been an on and off journey as a lot of you have seen who have been with me along the way. Um, you know, I've taken some time off here and there when I was in college and and going through some personal stuff and things like that but since I am back on that bandwagon and I am making sure I'm being very intentional for you guys this year that I am going to be putting out one regular full-length video every week on Thursdays at noon and then I'm going to be putting out shorts every Monday at noon um, which are like shorter content like under a minute um, quick bite kind of tutorials or info. So since I'm back officially in the game on a regular basis, I wanted to talk to you about my setup, what is working for me, and what gear I recommend. As somebody who has been in this a while and I am not like an explosive YouTuber and I don't have all of the best equipment and most expensive and most lavish, but I have invested in a few particular things that have upped my video game. This is for you if you are looking to do the same. Of the things that I'm going to talk about today, the things that I've had the longest are my umbrella lights. Now, umbrella lights are the type of lights that they quite literally are umbrellas. They open and they will be facing you. So they are diffused by the white umbrella. So it's not super harsh light on you all of the time, um, but it really brightens everything up. I use these as my two side lights. So I, I'm going to be, in this video, I'm going to be putting all of different like clips and pictures along the way so you can see my setup. But basically, I have them on the sides of me like this. So they are on me kind of diagonally. Um, and it's going to really light up all sides of me. Now, these are like 50 or 60 bucks, I think, last time I looked on Amazon, which for really good lighting, that's not a bad price. And they also come with a mini light. So it's almost like on a mini tripod. It doesn't have an umbrella, it's just kind of a light bulb. And I don't really use that, but maybe you can. I have used these umbrella lights for years. If you are an OG and you were there before I moved out of my parents' house, you knew that I literally would set these up on my floor. I would always sit on the floor in front of my bed because I didn't have room to work with and I'd put them, I was so cramped <laughs> and I would put them so close to me, but they were there and I was trying to up level my YouTube game um, and yeah. They've just, they've lasted this long. I have had to replace light bulbs here and there. So obviously like any light bulb, they kind of die over time. But even those, I repurchased them on Amazon. They're easy to find, they're pretty affordable, and they last a really long time. Links to anything I'm talking about in this video will be down below. So if you're looking for something in particular, it'll be there for you. Now, in addition to the umbrella lights, I did end up adding a third light. As you've seen in the past couple months, this has been my new setup and I'm really liking it. So, I am a professional makeup artist. Most of you know this. Now, I swear by the makeup light. It is quite literally called the makeup light. That's the brand. Um, and this is something that really illuminates the area. So, it is on me right now it's directly facing me it's a little higher and behind the camera okay but it is in the middle so this is what's really illuminating the center and the face and everything like that i found that although the umbrella lights are good it was like something was missing like if i could just light it up a little bit more it'd be even up another notch and so i took the makeup light and i used it now I had the makeup light for a few years now for makeup purposes. So this is the light that I use on my clients when it is an early morning, a late night, it's gloomy out, and I just need actual light that's not going to alter the makeup application because it's formulated to not be too yellow or too blue. I knew this would be a good light to put on me because it's more true to color. If you want to learn more about the makeup light itself, I actually did end up purchasing 
two more makeup lights. So I have three now. I only use one when I'm filming for YouTube. Um, and that I will link in the cards here and down below and all that good stuff. But I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It is a bit of a pricier light, but it's completely worth it and it lasts forever. You plug it into electricity instead of using a battery or a light bulb that dies. Next, we're going to talk about tripods. Tripods are obviously important because you need to put your camera or your phone somewhere. So right now I am filming on a basic Amazon tripod. I mean, it's like literally called the Amazon Basics. That's the brand. Um, and this has worked so well for us. We did end up having to purchase another at one point because we actually broke ours, but that was more of an us issue than a tripod issue. So it does last a long time. It's like 20 bucks. It does the job. They now come with uh, like a phone thing. So right now I'm recording on my phone and it holds the phone, even the big phones now, really well, sideways, all that stuff. Um, or it comes with the camera part that you can like screw your camera on. So you have different ways you can film on this tripod. And it's a pretty good one. I believe it's a 60 inch if I'm remembering correctly. So it goes up high and it also goes down low. So it's very adaptable. It's basic, but it does everything I need. The next tripod is this flexible tripod. And I have talked about this a couple times now, I think. I think I talked about it in my Amazon must-haves last year. And then I talked about it recently in my favorite product purchases of 2020. Um, which if you haven't checked that out, check that out because there, there's some gems in there. Um, but yeah, so I really love this tripod, guys. I mean, that's that's pretty much what I've established, right? Um, it's solid. It's again, this was like $10, $15. It's not expensive. It's very short, but that's the idea. So I just wanted something that not only was flexible because this way I can like, I don't know, I can bend it different ways. So it has a different height. I can screw it around things like, um, like the pole of the light, things like that. Um, and it works really well. So it goes, you know, it does everything a tripod is supposed to do. You move this you can film however. It also helps to kind of stabilize if you're filming in like selfie mode um, or taking a picture like that. And it just works great. This is what I'm using 99% of the time I'm doing TikToks. So if you follow me on TikTok um, or Instagram Reels now, then you have probably seen this in action and just didn't know it. Um, it's typically what I use because I like to set it up on the table in front of me and so for a TikTok, you put it vertical and it'll just be like this and I'll just be talking to the camera because I think it's more personal than doing this kind of setup for TikTok and Reels. Um, it's more close and everything. But yeah, really good tripod. Next is what I'm filming on. So I am currently filming on the iPhone 12 Pro Max and this is the latest iPhone that came out in 2020 towards the end. Um, I was due for an upgrade anyway because I had the iPhone 8 Plus, I had it for over three years and it was just a mess. It was cracked, it wasn't working right, it wasn't letting me talk on the phone right, it was muffled, it was terrible. Um, and so this was a big upgrade for me anyway, but it was a really big upgrade for me because this phone has the capability to film 4K video, which kind of sold me. I recently released my first online course, like my first official, like I worked really hard on this online course called Beauty Bootcamp. Um, and this is a course that was designed to up-level your makeup skills. And I wanted a camera that was really good quality and lighting and everything, the setup had to be really good because if people are going to purchase this course, it needs to be worth it. And so I put all this money and this time and effort into making this setup for the course, but then I was like, this is perfect for YouTube. So it ended up really just being awesome. <laughs> like it was just, it benefited kind of multiple things. And so now my YouTube videos ever since November, December, when I started with this phone, um, have been 4k. So if you have a 4k TV, you can legitimately watch it in 4k, which is cool. And just in general, it's better quality just all around. So love that. <laughs> so I personally just use my phone. It works really well. Um, I used to use a camera 
which I also really enjoyed, but that camera has been out of commission for a while now. It's the Sony A5100, which is a really nice camera, but I think I dropped it or messed it up or something, and ever since, the lens doesn't come out, and it doesn't work, and I just haven't gotten it fixed because I don't want to invest in fixing it, quite honestly, especially because this camera is so good on this iPhone. Like, when I have taken pictures of my clients that I've done makeup on, you can see their pores. You can see authentically their face. So it's really cool because you could also see like who is blurring their pictures and editing and all that. I just always post and be like, hey, here's the actual work I did. And it looks crisp. It's really cool. Um, so yeah, don't feel bad if you're filming on your iPhone or any phone that has a decent or good camera. It works. Next, I needed to make my sound better because there are different videos. I don't know if you guys noticed, if you've been watching all my videos I've been posting, the last few didn't sound as good as the few before that. The few before that was when I was first starting to use my microphone. Then I had it set up during that other filming session, but it wasn't actually like on and working and I didn't realize it until it was too late. So you can hear the difference quite Honestly, you can hear that like the room feels more echoey and just I feel farther away and things like that versus when I'm using the microphone. So, so this is going to be comprised of quite a bit of techie stuff, some necessary stuff, skincare stuff. Yeah, that's kind of the direction this video is going to go in. So if you are using your phone and if it is a bit of a distance away, like my phone is probably a couple feet away from me right now, um, you might want to invest in better sound quality just so it's all around better. Um, now, I am using the Yeti X Blue Microphone. Um, it's one of the more recent releases of theirs. It's about $180, I believe. And it has just overall made the sound quality on my videos superior just to anything I've ever done before. Um, it just is awesome and <laughs> it gets all the sounds right. It doesn't sound echoey. It sounds professional and I really, really love it. And um, as some of you know, I mean, my husband do a podcast. We're on a bit of a hiatus right now, um, but we do a, a podcast and I was using this microphone. He got one because we just thought this definitely made our sound a lot better than the cheaper ones we were using. So sound, it's really important. <laughs> I very much recommend you invest in good sound. The next thing that is important is a very specific cord that is going to make your microphone and your phone sync together and the sound will actually work. Now this is something that I didn't know because I am not that technologically savvy. Like, I like technology to a degree, but that was just over my head. So thankfully I had a friend help me out with that. <laughs> um, but yeah, basically I was over here, I had my mic, my phone, my umbrella lights, my, my everything. And I was like, let's do this. But the microphone and the phone don't just naturally connect, okay? So specifically for me, because I have an iPhone, I had to get an Apple product. I ended up getting the Lightning to USB 3 camera adapter. That is the specific one I got, and let me tell you, I got the wrong one at first, and the wrong one does not work. So that is the very specific one for this specific setup. If you have the same phone, the same microphone, all that stuff, get that cord. It's $39, and it's, it's an adapter, and it's perfect. So what it does is it plugs into your phone, it plugs into the microphone, and it plugs into a power source. So for me, I just have my laptop right here and I just have my laptop kind of feeding the power to it and it's also what I read off of for my videos. Um, and so it works great. And it's all close by, so it's not a very long cord, but it all kind of works. And it just makes everything work together. Now for the Yeti microphone, you will see when it's working because the lights go on. You'll see like when it's actually on with the power source. Now in addition to this, I do use a specific app to film. So again, I don't know if this is an iPhone only app, um, and obviously it's not a camera app, but I use the Filmic Pro app to film my videos. And the reason I do this is it has more capabilities than the camera app that is installed on the phone. I can zoom more, I can focus more, um, there's more capabilities. And within the app, as long as my microphone is connected, it recognizes the microphone. So I don't, I'm not quite sure how that works on the built-in camera app at this point. I haven't tried it, but I know that it'll say Yeti X quite 
literally in black and white and so I know it's using my microphone and <laughs> that's what I double check now um, and then also I can put presets in so I know when I put that preset on it'll always recognize the microphone it'll always use 4k whatever I want it to so I really like using that app and I also like using it because I have my iPad set up here okay so I am on the filmic app it's mirroring what is happening on the phone so this is very important because I like to use my back cameras on my phone they're obviously the better recording cameras but I can't see what's happening I can't see if it's actually going I can't see if there's an issue so I use my iPad as kind of a mirror a camera a, you know it's the setup that I can see what's happening I can see what's in frame I can see if something's wonky all of that stuff so again it's obviously I'm very Apple product over here and so unfortunately I don't know how this would work if you don't have those but it's a very good setup otherwise it, it works really well for me lastly sticking with the Apple theme for editing I just use iMovie iMovie comes installed on the MacBooks on the computers um, and I've used it for years now when I first got into videos, I used Windows Movie Maker, which I don't even think is around anymore. <laughs> um, so it was a long time ago because I had Windows computers. When I converted to getting a MacBook in 2014, it was the end of 2014, I have not looked back. I am definitely a MacBook person. It's just so much better for all of the things I need to do and works really well for me. And so iMovie is one of those things. iMovie definitely changed the game when it came to editing for me because I do think it's a lot better than Windows Movie Maker. However, I do know there are better editing softwares out there that you can pay a couple hundred dollars for and then you can do so much more. For me, I like to edit my videos in a realistic way. Like I like to put little humor in there and I like to put zooms up and you know, all this stuff and obviously um, different pictures or video clips like I did with this video, but I'm not looking to do like fancy editing. You know, again, like some of the bigger YouTubers do. I'm, I'm more realistic over here. Um, so iMovie works really well for me. So it's a very good software if you already have a MacBook, iPhone, iPad, any of them, they all have the apps. Try it out, see what you think. So that's all I have for you today. That is all of the stuff I use to film my YouTube videos, to edit, and make this production happen. So as you can see, it is quite the list of things, but I will tell you, if you are really overwhelmed at this point, I'm sorry, I know it's a lot, make sure you take notes. Make sure you favorite this video and, and reference it later, but start with a couple things. This all took time for me. Like I said, I've been in this like 12 years at this point, and you know, the longest thing I've had is the umbrella lights. Everything kind of, you know, every couple years, it's like I'll kind of get a new kind of toy to play with and make the videos look better. So don't stress yourself out. Do what you can, do what you can afford, and just enjoy along the way, experiment. It's just a lot of fun to see how you can make your videos that much better. So have fun with it. If you have any questions at all after this video, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. I'd be happy to answer with the experience and knowledge that I have at this point. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.